Hey YouTube, y'all know what time it is. If you hear something in the, in the background, I am listening to a lecture of sorts because they are allowing us to type messages in the chat, but I didn't want to miss it. But I also am presenting later on today. And so I said, let me just do my face. And of course I didn't pull out any brushes. And so I'm going to do that right now really quick. And I'm going to speed this part up. Okay, I'm going to use the Nudes of New York Maybelline palette, and I'm first going to go into Founder, which is this shade here, and it is a shimmer shade. I'm going to lay that down in the crease. And then blend that out a little bit. I'm going to take some and put that under my brow bone. I already did have my lids primed with the Fenty primer and I do have my base face on and my brows are done. You know what, I'm gonna just put this all over this area. <laughs> this shade here, which is, I can't see what the name of it is, Creator. The first shade was Founder, this shade is Creator. And we're gonna lay this above the crease, which is typically called the transition shade. We also want to take that same brush underneath the lower lash line. We're going to take a fluffier brush and we're going to take Self Starter, the shade here. We're going to put this in the crease and I'm using a fluffier brush so that it will also go above the crease. When typically a fluffy brush is taken for the transition shade and a smaller brush is used for the crease color. But because of my eye shape, I do things differently. So if this was only in my crease, when I look at you, you wouldn't see it, whereas over here you can see it because the fluffier brush blends it upwards some. I'm liking how this side is looking. I just dipped in the pan again. This side is looking like a harsh line to me for some reason. Maybe, I don't know if it's the lighting or what. No additional color on the brush. I'm just trying to blow this out a little bit very lightly. We're going to go back to that smaller fluffy brush and we're going to go into a voyeur. Is that the name of it? Yes. No, Voyager. And I'm just going straight in and I'm going to take that slightly above the crease kind of in between the transition shade and the crease shade. I have it where I want it, so I'm going to take that fluffier brush again, no additional shadow, and we're just going to blend that. Seems to be like a bald patch right here. Is that the lighting or is it really... Like I see color here, but I'm not seeing color there. Is it the lighting or is it just me? <laughs> a little more of this shade, self-starter, just a little bit. And I'm just going to put that right here very lightly. Okay, that looks better. I'm going to wipe that brush off and go in with Creator, the transition shade. Just tapping that in and we're going to buff that out. Okay, that looks the same to me now. I like it. For our lid color today, we're going to take protector this shade right here and we're going to put that on the inner corner and bring that over mm, about halfway now we're going to take hmm we're going to take globe trotter this shade here and i'm coating both sides of the brush tapping it off so that way i can go in with the pointed end down and sweep that over and then take it on the other side and sweep that side over. I want to take Fighter, this shade here, and this is Scott Barnes, brush number 61. And we're going to put that on the center of the lid. I'm going to go back into that same shade. with another Scott Barnes number 61 brush. <laughs> We're gonna dip into Inspire. Inspirer. Inspirer. 
And I should have took a smaller brush because we're just going to take this right here. Pop that right in the tear duct area. Right there. I felt some fallout. We're going to take self starter. Put that under the lower lash line. We're going to take fighter the center of the lower lash line and we're going to take inspirer <laughs> inspirer inspirer <laughs> this is a different one I have two of these and we're going to put that right here and I felt some more fallout I don't see it but I felt it Upper lash line. Wanna take Voyager? Going to use the Lancome Sils Booster XL Eyelash Mascara Primer. And we're gonna take Maybelline Sky High Mascara. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know, I did both my upper and lower lashes just off of that one pull out of the container. Yeah. <laughs> For lips. All right, we're going to take carnation and we're going to put it over top of the chapstick. I am digging this look. I'm glad I said what the colors were so I can go back and write it down and do it again. <laughs> I really wish I could place what this scent is of this lip cream. Yeah. Yeah. This is the look, guys with new products. Maybelline Nudes of New York. The Maybelline Sky High Mascara. <laughs> and one of the Kat Von D lip creams. So I'm loving this look. Let me know what you think. I'm kind of feeling myself. <laughs> you guys will see me in the next video. Thank you.